rhododendron honey is toxic, by the way. Rhododendron, like as in, isn't that a specific flower? So honey from a specific flower is toxic? Gotcha. Could buy the boomerang. Oh, let you attack all enemies at once. Yes, I want it now. That's already invaluable. Just the fact that it's stronger and it attacks all enemies at once. Yes, please. Fuck the copper sword. Fuck it. I probably don't have the money to buy any more equipment, but who gives a fuck? Gotta stay here and let her MP heal, though. So honey doesn't spoil, but we will uh, we will if we try to eat from that flower. Yes, indeed. Oh, shit. What the heck? Good morning, Funky G. You were restless in the night. Did you have a bad dream? What? The fairies are in trouble. <laughs> You're still half asleep, my lad. I have some things I need to look into, so I'll be staying in the... Okay, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 whatever. So we just have to go back in the basement, I guess. Get back to it. Interesting. Amazing what you can learn when you can read at six years old. I mean, the funny thing is, our main character didn't even read the book. He just absorbed the knowledge of the book without reading it. That's pretty silly. Are you just talking about IRL, Frog, that you could read when you were six? Is that what we're talking about? I'm going to sell old stuff. Bamboo spear, get out of here. You're useless. You're dead to me. I'll keep the sword just in case it ends up being something. But yeah, Cypress stick, bye-bye. You're garbage. Get out of my fucking life. I have two hand-woven capes. Pairing knife. Oh, did I get all the items off? Of, I think what's her face? We get we got all the items off the girl before she left. Okay, so that's cool. That's cool. Oh, we can sell those plain clothes too. Bye bye. The rest I will hold on to for now. I mean, it would make sense if you po a poison plant would make poisonous honey. That just makes sense to me. Her hood's pretty good too. But I believe I only made the money so I could get this kilt for my for my Leo, my good boy, the goodest boy. The goodest boy now has a kilt. Alright. Back to the lab again, yo. No, back outside we go in. To wreck some shit. Going north. Do, 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 do. Lick spittles. About to get fucked up, homies. Of course. Of course they start off like summoning some heal bitches. Yes! The boomerang for the win! I love it! I already love the boomerang. I'm sorry I didn't invest in it sooner. I don't know why my mind didn't pay attention to the fact that it hit all. I forgot so useful to hit all. I don't know if there's any going to be any other things on the map to find around here. Cacta balls? What kind of fucking crazy ass shit are these guys? They hit hard. Get wrecked, cacta ball. Two prestigitators, huh? Hit them all, hit them all, hit them all till they fall, till they fall, hit them all, hit them all with the boomerang, y'all. Holy shit, desperate attack. Jesus, boy. Get fucked, homies. 
Get fucked, homie. Give me that level up for my boy, Leo. Leo, he's getting so strong, boy. I asked that after seeing bunny corns, but a bunny corn was literally just like a bunny with a fucking unicorn horn. Here's some weird ass cacti ball motherfuckers. Doors are locked tight, but I use the secret knowledge of lots and locks and opens that shit. You. Oh, I actually have to go through. Oh, it's slippery in here. Well then. Cool, it's the kind of dungeon where I have to slide around and everything. This is fun. My favorite. I guess we could just start with this staircase and it's right here. Also fights on the ice. Cool. They're called brattling snakes. Brattling snakes with a brrrr. Cacti balls are probably a less evolved space balls. Yes. That's exactly what they are. Speaking of space balls, these fucking snakes look like they have Darth Vader helmet like skulls. Silly. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be just like a snake has this little like the co like a like a cobra snake has the little like flares next to its head. I think that's what it's supposed to be, but it looks like big old ears are part of a helmet. Coming for you, Mr. Doo Doo Doo. If it was summer, a cool place like this would be yummy, but in winter it's yucky. I think I know what I need to do here. Hey, look, it's another bunny corn, except for it's the harder version called a spiked hair. I'm kind of disappointed that we're already hitting palette swaps. Because I know Dragon Quest games always have palette swaps of literally everything. But, like, we're still in the early game when I'm still a child, man. And you're already giving me palette swap shit? Who are you? And what do you want with a white dwarf? Hmm? No, not Dwight Dwarf. Dwight Dwarf. Hachu! I suppose you're one of Treacle's lot. Come to... Get that Harold of Spring Flute back, are you? Well, you can tell Treacle it's the White Dwarf she's dealing. Hey, it's the White Dwarf, not Dwight Dwarf. So if you want the flute back, come in. Dachu, get it. All right, Dwight appears. He looks a lot like the guy that's usually called Rob Hood or whatever. All right, what does Woosh do? Slice through groups of enemies, a small world win. That's nice. I'm just going to attack with him. Yeah. Leo just attack as well. Drain magic. Boo! I don't like that. Hell yeah. Go squad fam! Stop draining my MP, you fuck. I have some medicinal herbs. It's fine. Sword my MP and then heal yourself. Fuck out of here. Ooh, the crit hit though. I love it. I wonder if he healed all his HP when he did heal. I have no idea. Probably not. We have Honey to heal us, though. Oh, we already got him. Dwight Dwarf is defeated. We got him. Easy peasy. And we got a, a Phial of Magic Water for defeating him. Probably MP healing. Dwight, that's not fair. You're too strong. What? It wasn't Tweakle who knew to drew Granddad out of Fairy D. But the Winter Queen... Oh, shit. The Winter Queen. <laughs> I see we have visitors. Wonderful. So rude of me to leave a child in charge of reception, even if he is a wannabe superhero. I do apologize, but I assure you, I'll make up for it now. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. The Winter Queen suddenly turns into a monster. Okay, so he seemed too easy, and now we know why. The Winter Queen, huh? The real, the real boss fight begins. Here we go. I mean, just beat her up. What else can we do? Go squad. Ooh, cool breath is not good. That hurt. That one hurt. I'm gonna heal uh, his self. Oof, okay, I'm gonna make sure my cat gets healed here. He's definitely healed all the way. I don't really care if she healed there. That's fine. I'll let Honey heal herself. She'll be fine. 
can't really afford to stop, you know, let up on my damage if she can heal herself, so. Focus on damage. Keep helping, Leo. Keep helping. Let go of my arm, Leo. Spiked hair or spiked hair? That's the, that's the, that's the pun, frog. And yes, it was the first one because it was a rabbit. This bitch needs to stop healing. Yeah, Kasap that bitch. There you go. That's the move right there. Fuck yeah. Here we go. Damage. Get her while she's Kasapped. Jesus. Honey, I, I need you to heal yourself because if you die, we might be fucked. All right, you got a crash frog. It is midnight for you. All right, man. You have a good night. I appreciate you hanging out as always. And we'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Fortune cookie day. Burn that bitch to the ground, to the ground. Burn that bitch to the bottom, bottom. Burn that bitch to the bottom. Ooh, that damage is good. Ooh, that damage is tasty. Ooh, honey's dead. That sucks. Die, bitch. Shit, she cast a crack. Yo, we got her. Persistence is the key. 650 experience points. Don't mind if I do. Level up for me. Hell yeah. Learned buff. Buff is good. Buff is very good. And Leo also level six. Bitchin'. And she dropped a Chimera Wing. Nice. Ah, ah, my body, I'm burning up. Ah. You fucked, bitch. Achoo, that was a surprise. I had no idea the Winter Queen was an evil monster. She tricked me. She tricked a white dwarf. Uh-oh, I'll be in trouble now. Granddad will be furious. I better get back to the cave. Yeah, you better, you little bitch. Oh, yeah, I nearly forgot. The Herald of Springs in that treasure chest there. You better take it back to Tweakle, I suppose. The White Dwarf reigns supreme. Achoo! Achoo. Achoo, indeed. All right. Ooh, and we get an extra boomerang. Great. Glad I bought one of those. I'm a little salty about it. But anyway, we got the Herald of Spring, which is what we came here for. Sick. Nasty, brah. Sick. Nasty. I just wanted Honey to get her HP back. You are a warrior. See, I was right. I knew it all along. I knew it all along that you were a warrior, warrior, warrior. I want that treasure over there, so we're going to figure out the way to get to it. Looks like I need to go around to a different staircase to get to it, though, unfortunately. It always happens. You buy equipment, then you find it in a chest like two minutes later. In these games, unfortunately, that is way too true. And that's why I'm skeptical about buying weapons sometimes in, the, in Dragon Quest especially, because it's hard to grind out your money in these games, man. But, you know, whatever. Maybe we'll have another character at some point who can actually use another boomerang, and I can just double boomerang the fuck out of some fuckers. That's just hopes. Hopes and dreams. I don't have enough MP to heal her either, either so... Oh, freaking well. No, I didn't mean to fall. No. Just trying to get to the other staircase, man. Some rattling snakes. You fucking wrecked, fucking wrecked. All right, there's. Ooh, this room's got three treasures. Ooh. 
One is five gold coins. That's a little bit of a jip. Fuck you. Drachimas. Oh, man. Man, you put everybody to sleep? That's annoying. Thank you. Bet the damage is already done, fuckers. Hey, we got another level up. Pry for Leo? Hell yeah. Level 7 Leo, baby. Hell yeah. Ch empty. Ooh. I was about to be salty if that one was empty, too. I mean, I don't need another Chimera Wing right now, but hey, whatever. Free stuff is free stuff. Oh. oh okay. I thought there was a shiny there. I think it's just the, the walls are shining. But wait, there was another treasure. How do I get that other treasure? Huh. I don't know how to get to the other side over there. Weird. I don't want to fight those guys. Oh my god, bro. You forget which game, but uh, you remember buying like three of the same weapon or armor then literally finding one not even five minutes later. Jesus, three of them? That's unfortunate. They're not. Oh, you can go to the side over here. This is where the treasure is. Son of a bitch. I didn't even notice you could go over there. Six of these guys? Jesus. I'm glad I have a boomerang. Jesus, man. I'm not even going to win right now. I'm going to probably die. Unless I killed at least two of those guys. Three of those guys. Nice. Okay, we'll win. Jesus, that was way too close. Seed of Wisdom. Okay, I would say that's worth it. I think I'll still use it on Funky, even though he's not necessarily mage only, but he definitely has a lot of magic, so I would say it's worth it. Oh, I can't even use that here. Oh, boy. Time to use a fucking medicinal herb, because we don't want to lose. And it sucks because new weapons and armor at the time can be expensive. Yeah, exactly. Definitely a problem when shit is expensive, and you buy three of them, and you find another one. You're like, shit, I only needed three. Could have just bought two. Is what it is, though. can't believe they all only attacked Funky there. That was weird. But we won, so who cares? <sighs> I'm almost out of there. I'm just going to use a Chimera Wing to get back. Holy fuck. I just need to get out of this cave alive. It's like I have so many Chimera Wings. I feel like it's one of those things that's useful early, but you'll get a spell for it later. That's usually how these Dragon Quest games work. You found the Herald of Spring for Treacle? That's amazing. You're amazing. I'm amazed. Tee hee hee. So all the snow will go away now? Thank the goodest. Boing along and give Treacle the flute, then or you'll be accused of dawdling. So someone was trying to freeze us all into early graves, were they? 
Well, I hope this is the end of all the trouble now. I'd hate to think it will start of something even bigger problems. You'd hate, but probably the case. So was the Winter Queen behind all this from the very beginning? I wonder who she is. The Queen of Winter. Duh. Um, duh. The view from here in springtime is breathtaking. As soon as Treacle blows the herald of spring, a warm breeze will bring all the pretty little petals and buds of the new season. <laughs> Sounds pretty bitchin' to me, yo. Oh my, you got it back the herald of spring. I suppose humans have their uses sometimes, bitch. Treacle sees everything. She was watching when you fought the Winter Queen. You saved us in our fairy world. Thank you. Wow. I do a lot for being a six-year-old, like seriously. Yeah, party members are getting revived after every battle, which is really nice, actually, Donko. Not very, so, not something I'm very fam like familiar with happening in most of these games. Usually, you have to revive people at at, at a fucking church. That's usually what you need to do. But apparently, not anymore, baby. Resurrection is probably for some status effect that keeps them dead. I would assume. I haven't done a proper save in a while, so I figured I should do that. Fairies are responsible for the passing of the seasons. If winter had gone on much longer, the world might have frozen over completely, but it will not. Because we got it. Now we can call spring like we're supposed to. Thank you, Funky G. Sprightly Saints, the Herald of Spring. Come, Funky G. Let me take a good look at your face. couldn't have asked for more from anyone. Thank Funky G. At least I can fulfill the duty of the fairies to call an end to this long, harsh winter and summon spring into the world. I really don't know how we can thank you, except perhaps to promise you this. If you ever find yourself in trouble, when you are a little older, I mean, come to our land again. We will do whatever we can to repay you for your bravery, so remember us, Funky G. And now it's time for you to return to your world, where we belong. Funky G, I'll never forget you. Here, have this so you never forget me either. A branch? Are you expecting something better? Don't worry, it's only withered now because of the cold. Once spring comes, it'll be bursting with hundreds and hundreds of pretty little flowers. Goodbye, Funky G, take care. Thanks. Treacle puts the Herald of Spring gently to her lips. Ooh. Oh, thanks, Death Zero. Can't wait for that to happen. Also, welcome to the stream. How are you today? As the rose blossoms start to fall. Hell yeah. Hey! That's a dragon re-subbing during stupid song. That's okay, because this song goes even harder. Oh, holy shit, that just realized that's five years now. Holy crap. 60 months, that's five years. What the? Wow, Dragon. Six years, dude. Si or five years, sorry. 60 months. Goddamn. I didn't realize we were at the five-year mark. I'm going to have to make another resub sound. Jesus. But there you go. Our first five-year resub. That's how long I've been affiliate, y'all. Five years. And the fairies got their spring back. So that's cool. Hell yeah. All right. Breaking all the pots because I feel like it. Break the, break the barrels because I feel like it. Hey, friend, where you been? A messenger came from Cobra Castle when you were away. Your papa, he is already on his way there. He wanted to thank you, E Team, but he could not find you anywhere. But he only leave a few moments ago. If you hurry, maybe you can catch up with him. Go now, Rebido. All right. Well, because our party doesn't have the fairy lady anymore, we'll have to put Honey on the bench for now. Bye, Honey. I'll miss you. But yeah. Anyway, you're coming up on two years yourself, there, Dragon. Yeah, you are. Y'all, bunch of homies. The win affiliate all shit and shit. Fucking killing it, y'all. No one will believe him about the fairies because he's six. Yeah, true that. A messenger came from Coburg. He wanted with him and him, him, but they can't have them on to go. If you hurry, maybe you can't with him. Go now, Rebido. I don't even know where the castle's at. Hey, friend, wait. 
Is something fell out of your pocket? What's that? Look, it's a beautiful blossom. See, it's a little warmer now. All the pretty flowers, they're going to be bursting into life. I put it in your room, okay? It's going to make a nice ornament, no? Sure. Okay, friend, leave it to me. Now hurry or you'll not catch up with your papa. Sure. Okay. Uh, cool. Okay, he's going to say the same thing. Cool, cool, cool. Fucking Sancho! Funky G searches around in front of him. There's a blooming branch. Places the blooming branch in the bag. Oh. Oh. Should I have left that there? I don't know. I didn't mean to take it. But I took it. Wait, can I like put different things there? I'm confused. Why did it have me put it on the table and then I could pick it back up? Is it just because it's bloomed now? It wasn't bloomed before, but now it is. I don't know. I picked it back up. Whatever. I have it. Cool. All right. Let's, uh, I guess go try to find my dad. I'm trying to think if I should buy any more weapons or armor. I don't think there's anything better than what I have now, though. At least not there. I don't remember if there's an armor shop here. I don't think there is. Extremely dangerous outside the village. You'll be a good boy now and go back home where you'll be nice and safe. Sorry. Have I seen punk ass leaving town? Well, no, I can't say I have. Oh. Did he go through the cave? Maybe he went through the cave. You're punk ass's son, if I'm not mistaken. This might just be hearsay, but it sounds like he's got an almighty enemy out there. <laughs> You're not thinking of exploring that cave again, are you? Your father was looking for you, you know. You should forget about the cave and go and see what he wants. Well, where the fuck is he? He said he went to the... <sighs> How am I supposed to catch up to him if he left already? Feels a little bit warmer, blah, 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 prep his spring. Is he at the bar? Maybe he went to the bar. So you're punk, punk as a son. Come to think about seeing him. Where you read that? Blah blah blah. My old man found the glass he was after, but it doesn't look like the thing punk ass is looking for is he's easily found. Heard it was something to do with a legendary hero or the like. Sorry, listen to me. Born a kid with a grown up stuff like that. Uh, yeah, sure, totally. So boring to hear about legendary heroes. Bitch, please. Someone's gonna run. Huh? What now? What's this all about? Thank you so much, Funky G. Can't wait to meet again one day. Sweet wishes, honey. What a load of nonsense. I mean, not really. Dear, oh dear, not another empty pot. This is all very odd. I decided to have a feast. That's what the old dragon thought I'd done anyway. So I may as well get some pleasure out of ear bashing. May as well. Currently seems to be getting warmer. Hopefully we'll be able to catch some crops are growing. So I can't go by him. Wilbrook's only here is only a tiny little village, and if it's castles you're looking after, you'll have to go to Coburg. Off to the east it is. Coburg's east, okay. But, like, I have to be able to leave. How do I leave? A messenger came from Cumber and Castle when you were away. Your papa is already on his way there. Want to make him If you hurry, maybe catch up with him. Go now, Rapido. How do I do that? I can't even leave town. The fuck? Maybe I gotta go in the well? Hmm. 
So Punk Ass has been called the Cobra Castle, eh? There's all sorts of kerfuffle there at the moment about who's going to secede to the throne. You want to be careful. Okay. But I want to go there. How do I go there? I literally talked to everybody, I think. Well, maybe not. Hold on. Isn't there a lady here to talk to? Whoa, my dad's here! Son of a bitch. The King of Coburg's got a bit of a cheek summoning your father without so much as a buy as a buy or leave. If he's the one who wants us to meet, then he's the one who should go trekking across country to do it. Here's my dad. There you are, Funky G. Where you been? I've been looking all over for you. Never mind. It doesn't matter now. I was just saying a prayer before setting off again. You should do the same. I'll be waiting for you at the town entrance. Okay. I suppose I can save it before I go. I wonder how close we are to, like, big shit going down and, you know, something happening to my dad. Not that I want it to happen. I just have a sneaking suspicion that... It's not going to end well for my dad there. Hence the time lapse that is inevitably going to happen. <laughs> Just one of those vengeance stories where we got to grow up to get strong enough. That's really how I look at this. So we'll see. All done, Funky G? Good. Let's, we'll get going. I've been summoned to Cobra Castle. Don't worry, it's not too far. Nothing like the long sea voyage I took you on before. Once this little trip's over with, I think we'll settle down for a while. I'll put you through enough. It's time you had a bit of fun, don't you think? Right then, let's be off. And those are the words that put the nail in the coffin. You can't just tell a kid that it's time to settle down and have fun. Have a good trip, punk ass. Later. You, now you know you just condemned the whole situation. Good job, dad. I am Punk Ass Gotha of Wheelbrook. I've been summoned by King James, and I am on my way to Cobra Castle at his request. Please allow me to pass. Ah, so you're Punk Ass, are you? I had word that you'd be coming. Please pass on through. Okay. And so we walk. I like that it's all in kind of real time. It's kind of nice. We'll be in the kingdom of Cobra before long, Funky G. People say the view of the river from up top is quite something. Come on, we don't have much time, but it'll be fun to go and have a look. It's quite something. Here we are. Let's see. Um, I hope you don't mind my asking, but are you all right there, old man? Oh, yeah, should not mind me. I'm just watching the river go by and thinking about what the future holds for our kingdom. I see. Well, be careful not to catch cold from staying up here for too long. Do excuse us. Wait, where are you going, dude? Hello? You must hurry. We're supposed to be in Coburg by now. Wait, what the... F Why did you go back inside? The hell? Did you get confused? I'm confused. The hell was that about? Am I too strong for this game, Grandmaster? I don't know. I don't know. Welcome to Coburg with this beat, with this beat, with this beat that go hard. Paul, what business do you have in Coburg Castle? My name is Punk Ass. I was summoned from Wheelbrook by the king. Oh, my apology, good sir. The king is expecting you. Please follow me. We shall see. Your Majesty, Punk S of Wheelbrook requests an audience. Thank you, I will see him. You may leave. And what's your Majesty? <laughs> well, punk, punk Ass, your reputation precedes you. I've heard much about your bravery. As such, I've summoned you here to ask a favor of... <clears throat> I, uh... <clears throat> 
Please approach the throne. Guards dismissed. I need you to get down and suck this kingly dick. Wait, what? <laughs> It'll be incredibly dull for you just standing there, Funky G. I'm sure His Majesty wouldn't mind if you looked around the castle. It's a fine opportunity for you. We'll have finished our discussion by the time you get back. Oh boy, we get to explore a castle. Alright. Away we go then. <laughs> Gonna check his room first. Majesty's personal chambers, lad. If you want a place to play, you'll have to look elsewhere. Boo! You happen to have a daughter? Princess, maybe? Heh heh heh. There's nothing like a breeze up here on top of the castle. It almost sends you to sleep. <clears throat> almost. You've been playing this game since 1887. Yeah, okay. Sure. Makes sense. Ah, I've had about a mutt, about as much of that Prince Harry's mischief as I could take. The goddess only knows what kind of king that little rascal will make. Rascal will make. The worry keeps me awake at night. Prince Harry, huh? Maybe we'll get to meet him. He sounds like a homie that we're gonna meet and then grow up with, you know. Although, will he be a homie by the time he grows up? I don't know. I wonder what's so secret about the favor the king's asking your father. Maybe he's hoping he can knock some sense into Prince Harry. So you and your father come from Wheelbrook, do you? I I feel sure I've seen him somewhere before. In a castle, was it? Nah, it must just be my imagination. Hmm. He may have been king before. This is Her Majesty the Queen's consort's bedchamber. She and her son, Prince Wilbur, both sleep in here. Fucking Wilbur. Wilbur. Fucking Wilbur. Who are you? You'd like to make friends with a real prince, would you? <laughs> well, you certainly have a shrewd eye for one so young. That's right, my Wilbur would be a far more suitable successor to the throne than that naughty half-brother of his. That's what you were thinking, wasn't it? Yes, you're very shrewd, very shrewd indeed, my boy. I did not mean to talk to you again. I was trying to talk to your boy, Wilbur. I don't want to be king. Well, there you go. Sums it up right there. I don't want to be king. All right, see you, Wilbur. Me neither. He sings the opposite of I just can't wait to be king. I am not waiting to be king. Just can't wait to not be king. Do you know the tale about the great castle that fell from the sky a long, long time ago? According to the legend, it was from the, that moment on that monsters started to prey on us humans again. Do you believe in legends, child? Sure. Only the goddess on her high and in her infinite wisdom, on high and in her infinite wisdom, knows the truth. Wilbur just can't wait to see his brother be king. Exactly. Fucking Wilbur. Fucking Wilbur. Ooh, a seed of magic. A seed of magic. Using it. I was like, I was pretty sure that's the MP increase one. I will use it on Funky Fo Show. What's happened to your father, lad? You can't just go wandering off out of the castle on your own, you know? Ow, this bump on my head's killing me. Why does Prince Harry find flicking people so amusing? It's not funny, it hurts. Flicking? Oh shit, I can look at the map. Can I actually like look at it though? I don't know. It's fine. I don't need to look, look at it. It's not locked for me. I'm a lock-picking master. Wondering who the next king will be, are you? Prince Harry or Prince Wilbur? Well, unless something happens to stop it, it'll be Prince Harry. He's the oldest son. But how much older? I don't like all this talk about who's going to succeed to the throne. His Majesty the King is still in excellent health. There are far more pressing matters, or concerns, like these rumors about children being kidnapped all over the place. Mm -hmm. You should be careful, lad. Don't go wandering off without your father, all right? Oh, kids getting kidnapped? Is that how the time lapse happens? All the kids get kidnapped? That'd be interesting. What should I do? Her Majesty the Queen Consort has been meeting with some very unsavory characters recently. I feel compelled to inform His Majesty the King, but perhaps I shouldn't be meddling in Her Majesty's affairs. Perhaps, or well, perhaps not. Alright, 
Did I go up these stairs? Or no, wait, I didn't go in this door, right? <laughs> Ooh, I did not. Oh, you must be Prince Harry's new playmate, you poor thing. Bitch. I will fuck a Prince Harry up. You don't even know right now, bro. Uh, uh? <laughs> you scared the life out of me. I thought it was Prince Harry again. He knows I hate frogs, but he still puts them down my back just because he's a prince. He thinks it's okay to be mean. Everyone says what a naughty little boy young, young Harry is, but I don't think so. It's only because he lost his mother so young. I mean, I know he's got the queen's consort now, but, well, it's not the same as your real mom now, is it? Anyway, she dotes on that Wilbur of hers like there's no tomorrow, so it's no wonder Harry's gone off the rails a bit. Is it? I suppose not. Doesn't mean he has to grow up to be a fucking dick, but, you know, whatever. To each their own, I suppose. Nothing in this well. Lame. Okay. Back upstairs. Okay, we went to that side. Now to this side. We haven't met Prince Harry yet. And I'm assuming that's what we really are here to do. Is this him? That's probably him. But I'm gonna steal his treasure first. Oh, it's empty. Trolled. I feel very trolled. Huh. Who are you? Oh, I know, I know. You're the son of Punkass, the man my father ordered to come here from Wheelbrook. I'm the Prince of Coburg, the next in line to the throne. I expect you want to serve me by being my lackey, do you? No. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. What did you say? I'm the Prince of Coburg. Next time I'm going to No. I said no, bitch. I don't want to be your lackey. No. I bought that must lackey situation. Lame. Oh, what sort of prince would my want a puny little boy like he was a lackey? Get out of my sight. Okay. Sure. What a little punk bitch. Fuck you, my saber cat will maul your fucking eyes out of your fucking head. Yeah. All right, I'm assuming that's everybody. Let's go back to the king's room. Oh, shit, where'd my dad go? Ah, punk asses boy. Yes, you have a keen eye, lad. I can see that. Well, I've entrusted your father with looking after my eldest son, Prince Harry. I want you to make friends with him, too. It'll do him good to have someone to play with. Okay. Cool. What did you do with my dad? Maybe he's down, he's down by Prince Harry. He is, he's right there. Oh, there you are, Funky G. The king's asked me to look after his son, Prince Harry. I'd feel much happier if I could keep a closer eye on him, but it seems he's not too fond of me. Why don't you try and make friends with him, Funky G? You're about the same age, I'm sure you'll get on. I'll stay out here so I can be sure he doesn't go anywhere while you go, go and, and play with him, okay? That's my boy. Oh boy, I'm sure this guy will be great. Oh no, not you again. I suppose you've come back because you want to be my lackey, have you? Yeah. Well, you're probably not up to it, but I'm prepared to give you one chance. There's a chest in the room next door with a lackey's badge in it. Go and get it. You must have a badge if you want to be my lackey, otherwise I won't let you. It was empty, though. But the chest is empty. What a liar. And now he's gone. And now he's fucking gone. What's the matter, Funky G? What? Prince Harry's disappeared. Well, this is the only way out of that room, and he didn't come past me. Are you sure? Come along, show me. I will. Motherfucker is back. Punk ass, I thought I ordered you to stay out of my room. Whew. You really don't like me, do you? So sorry, Your Highness. Sorry, that was the dad talking. You must have been daydreaming, Funky G. The prince hasn't gone anywhere, has he? I know it's hard, but try to make friends with him, will ya? So you brought the lackey's badge like I told you to, I presume? Yes. Oh, really? All right, then show it to me. Ha! <laughs> I knew you were lying. You don't have it at all. What? There's nothing in the chest. Don't be absurd. Of course there is. I simply won't accept a lackey who doesn't have a lackey's badge. Go and look properly this time, you nincompoop. Okay, I guess we're going to play this game again. And he's gone again. 
There's a secret staircase leading down. There you go. How dare you discover my secret staircase? <laughs> I didn't like you the moment I had the misfortune of laying eyes on you. But I bet you didn't find the lackey's badge, did you? Well, you can't be my lackey then, so there. Hmm, what's that? Oh, shit. You Prince Harry? No, I'm Prince Harry. With an H, you imbecile. And who are you filthy louts? Filthy what? Sorry, Mabel, you're coming with us. Uh -oh. Wow. Just like that, gone. Boy, step on and get him on the red. Come and Gav. Come and Gav. Come and Gavna. Well, rip to Prince Harry. Suppose not much I can do about this situation other than go tell my dad. Hey, dad, um, about the prince. He got on. I didn't even know I could get out here. How the hell did I... How the hell do you get out there normally? Oh, there was a door in here. I'm an idiot. Well, then. Did not notice that door. Hey, Dad. What the matter, Funky G? What? Prince Harry's been kidnapped. Dear Goddess. Now listen to me, Funky G. No one must know of this. It's a It'd be a disaster for people to find out. We'll have to rescue the prince before he's missed. Come on, follow me. Oh boy. Can you swim? Oh, I guess we're gonna go this way. All right. Uh. Oh, I did not mean to leave. I heard there's a really big ruin northeast of here. Well, my mom said I mustn't go there. She said it's too dangerous. Okay. Hello there. Well, it's your lucky day. I'm a traveling salesman, you know. Oh, you're the armor shop. Okay, cool. Better stuff across the board, I suppose. Fucking expensive ass shit. Damn it, the, the freaking cat can wear an iron helmet? I don't think we're gonna get done with the kid stuff tonight. Here I thought we were almost done with the kid stuff, but I don't think we are. We're wearing iron staff is stronger. It's deadly whip can attack a whole group of enemies. Okay, this is a whole group versus an entire ro like all. I should get the iron claw for my cat though. If I want him to be stronger. I'm just surprised how long you get to play as the kid side for. It's kind of kind of crazy. But I guess that's a good way to like set up the story is have you play as a kid for a while, you know. I mean, Breath of Fire 3 anyone? whole fucking first half of the game is child so maybe this game will have similar a similar feel to that we'll see might get to meet all of our party members as a kid before you know we meet them as an adult that'd be pretty dope actually um i don't need this stuff right now but shit with that thought in mind i might stop here soon because i know i'm not gonna get to the end of the kid stuff because if i go into this next se section here you know we might be all into a whole nother dungeon trying to chase down these thieves. Usually I travel about buying and selling stuff, you know, but monsters have been running into the... I've uh, been running into monsters lately are tough. Hope it doesn't mean anything. I hate to think there was terrible, terrible trouble brewing. Everybody just feels like there's something ominous going to happen. And, well, that means something ominous will happen. And it will not be bode well for my dad, I'm sure. Or maybe it's going to be all the kids. I don't know. I don't really know how they're going to do the time lapse. You know, dad dies, we have to go get revenge, or all the kids get rounded up and they all grow up while they're being captured. Like, I'm just trying to think of scenarios where the kids would, time would pass by and the dad doesn't have to die, but, yeah. Not sure where the dad went, like, for real. Where the hell did he go? Am I supposed to just go out into the world and look for him? Because I guess that's the idea. Well, um... 
I don't know. Should be this where I stop? Just trying to think, like... Will the dad have gone back to the king? Because he said no one must know. Yeah. Probably not. Where was the save point at again? I was going to save it, but... I don't remember where the save bitch was at. Double check with the king real quick. Okay. Let's talk to him. So this is the son of the brave punk ass. You have your father's buys, boy. Good honest eyes. Indeed I do. Sure. Honest eyes that ain't gonna tell you she. Yeah, as soon as I find this this uh, the church guy again, which I'm pretty sure he was in the castle here somewhere, um, that's probably where we're gonna stop for tonight. So yeah, we got a pretty good uh, pretty good uh, feel for the game so far. I mean, I don't oh this is where it is right here, duh. I don't expect this child stuff to last too much longer, but we'll see. I don't necessarily think that maybe in the next section or session of this game we'll 100% get to the adult parts, but we'll see. It's been a good time, though. I can see why people like this game so far. It's pretty good. I mean, again, it's definitely got the same gameplay as 4 gameplay-wise. The story is a bit different, obviously, so that's your biggest difference here so far. Um, but I've enjoyed it. And no, I will not continue my adventure. Not today. So next time on Dragon Quest V, we will go look for the missing Prince Harry. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one real soon. Peace out.